Hi guys, so to all of you out there that are really good at speaking on camera and seeming natural and not like a weirdo, I really applaud you because trying to create some content for my YouTube and Patreon is really interesting because I am so weird, you guys. There's a dog here on my face. Like you see, I can't win. Welcome to my channel. So today's video is a little bit exciting for me because this is my 10th video Like 10th art related video. Sorry, I've got paint on my hands I've already gotten started a little bit, but today I wanted to show you kind of a little bit more of my process um, We're in my studio obviously and I'm gonna show you kind of how I start off most of my paintings pretty much all of them and just How I go about things so to start off. Um, I have one of these kind of paint saver um, palettes. My husband gifted it to me a few years ago actually for Christmas or something and I've been really really enjoying it especially since I use acrylic paint and it dries so fast if any of you guys you know are familiar with acrylics and you know the paint dries just so quickly. So unfortunately I'm still learning how to save paint and I try to skimp and go a little bit but at a time but Lately, I've just been giving myself plenty of paint and having a lot left over, so, whoops. So this is kind of like the, the result of the madness of the last piece that I had done. You can see there's like kind of a thicker layer of paint right here and um, the black and a little bit of the blue here is still wet, so I'm going to try to try to use this before I put any new paint on here. So we're going to get started with that right away. Alright guys, before we get into the split screen, I just wanted to give you guys a closer look at my painting supplies and how I set up for my paintings. This is kind of what I generally do. Sometimes it's a little different and I don't have all the paint sitting around, but this is what I like to have my area and my workspace set up as. And if you look right here, this piece is a one that I recently finished and was the inspiration behind the piece I'm working on today. Here's a quick look at the lighting that I'm using to you know, keep my studio lit up while I'm filming. I'll leave links to these items in the description if you guys are interested in checking those out. But yeah, so this is the brother piece that I'm working on. And what I like to do when I start my paintings is I like to first kind of map out how I think I want it to look using pencil, kind of draw it out. And really, I've seen people do it a lot of different ways, but for me, it's just the easiest way to get kind of like the composition and everything right the first time instead of, instead of spending so much time um, correcting, because I feel like there's a lot of errors that can be made when you don't first map out your painting. And kudos to all of the artists that can go this way. I know for me, I'm definitely not there yet but so with acrylic on this surface initially it can get there's a lovely little dog hair having three huskies that happens a lot in my paintings um, but with acrylics that happens a lot or what happens a lot what am i what was i even saying see it's what happens when i get distracted <laughs> is that first layer it just gets so messy because you need to build up the paint on let's see oh wow okay you guys real moments got a little bit of paint chips from the other colors but that's fine when you provide like this first thin layer now i just like to thin my acrylics with water a lot of people um advise against that and honestly I just feel like I like the smooth transition so this is kind of just the way I've always done it and the way I like to do it you know if you disagree then you know please let me know why that is I heard it's something about like the pigments not adhering properly to the canvas or the surface that you're working on but I think that since this is primed with gesso, it should be fine. But I like to take a thin layer of 
acrylic almost looks like where to where it looks like watercolor and to give my painting that first base I've seen some artists that will completely finish a piece and go on that way but to me like it's so daunting looking at a canvas and I hate seeing blank uh, canvas or surface so I like to give myself something to start with and to build on build the layers up so you can see in my second screen here it's so weird just looking at myself and then kind of only seeing what I'm seeing and I'm like I feel like you guys don't see what I'm seeing too um, but I have for reference my reference photo on the side here which you guys aren't gonna be able to see that but I also have my sister painting of metamorphosis which is kind of the inspiration which is the inspiration behind this one right here behind this nail I have her up because I want to do pretty much the same color scheme and and all together the whole look so that's why you're gonna see her hanging out there too so right now I've kind of filled up the whole um, body of my my man here adding a little bit more water so I can kind of thinly spread this paint across the surface now you got to be careful with this surface like I noticed right away when I first started painting on it is if you have too much water it's just gonna like bubble up and not all adhere properly so you are gonna need to have a good amount of paint on there too that's the kind of the thing about acrylics is you need to you can't have too much water and you can't have too little you have to have like the right recipe so I'm kind of trying to get off some of these dog hairs ah. okay so now our surface crumb right there now we've got like a clean surface to start with by putting down this first layer we've provided something for the rest of our layers to kind of grip onto we'll be able to do that so now another the other color that I have that was pretty, still not completely dry on this palette, was the black. And as you can see in the piece um, right next to this guy, the background is black. So hey, that works perfectly. We're just doing what we did before. I'll show you guys here. Added a bunch of water to kind of re-moisten that up. wobbly and we're going on and I want to kind of like I said I hate the look of canvas I keep saying canvas because that's what I'm so used to working with I hate the look of just empty that empty surface look so we're just going across with some black here, building that first foundation. Now, if you look at these two side by side, obviously this looks a little crazy, but it's only the first layer. As you build up layers, and if you keep them nice and thin, which is what I like to do with my paintings, gradually build the layers on. Eventually, if you keep going, you're going to have that more complete look. You just have to be patient, trust the process, keep continuing on those layers. Okay, so thankfully, since this is acrylic, this won't take long to dry at all. A couple minutes, easy. Um, but right now, we're already at 10 minutes into the video, and... I don't feel like I've shown you guys very much, but that's kind of how I start off my paintings. Um, 
yeah so that's all i have you guys i hope you liked this type of video and if it left you wanting more and to see kind of how this video or how this painting gets finished then please hit that subscribe button i'll be uploading the finished version of this painting next week for you guys you'll see that, see it at that point but i hope that you enjoyed this kind of video if you did like kind of the sit down and a little bit more in-depth kind of videos of my process and everything i am starting up on my patreon channel we're going to be showing that kind of stuff to you guys a little bit more and hoping to share more things like this and kind of more of my process and how to tutorial type things i'll leave the link in the description below for you guys to check out that patreon channel if it's something that you guys want to look into i would be so grateful um yeah but don't feel pressured like i really appreciate your support even just watching my videos here on youtube so yeah definitely hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys next week until then keep creating and have a great week bye guys